Hi my crafty friends, welcome to the Upcycle Design Lab. If you're new here, my name's Cindy and I do a lot of crafting with recycled and repurposed materials to hopefully give you some ideas on ways to make and create more economically and ecologically. And one of my current projects is a trash fashion wedding dress that I'm planning to enter in a trash fashion show in a few months. And if you missed the first video where I kind of introduced this idea and talked about all of my crazy ideas for this dress, you can check that out in the video link. I never remember which side it's on, here or here. And I will also link to it in the description box. Today I'm going to be working on the top portion or the bodice of the wedding dress. And just to introduce a little bit about what I'm doing here, I am starting with a basic wedding dress pattern and if you saw the first video you might notice that I've actually changed the neckline on it. So I wanted more of a V neckline so I've altered the pattern in a couple of ways. I had to make some facings here. I'm also going to have it be a sleeveless dress you, if you notice the pattern has some sleeves. So I've, this is where I've gotten to so far. I'm starting with some fabric made out of chip bags and I've just sewn the first piece together. Now I'm a little nervous about sewing this because um, you're not able to rip this out because once you puncture holes in it, they show up. So if I need to take it in, that'll be one thing, but if I need to let it out, the holes are gonna show. So that's a little problematic with this fabric. I've also already kind of stumbled onto some problems and had to solve a few things because my first attempt at the fabric was really really crispy and crinkly so I had to start over and cut out all the pieces over again and I think I've come up with a nicer softer hand to the fabric. It's still pretty stiff as you can see on this princess line here but I'm hoping that it's going to be fabric like enough to actually make the bodice out of. If you're interested in how I made the chip bag fabric, I will link to that video tutorial as well. There are three different methods that I tested out in the video and for this project I'm using the spray adhesive version of the chip bag fabric. So my plan for today, like I said, I have all my pieces cut out just for the top. I had to make a couple of facing pieces like I said and then these are the back pieces. But my goal for today is just to kind of get the pieces sewn together and then to start working on the decoration for the neckline. the bodice pretty much sewn together now. There's a few problems in the back that I'm going to have to solve and I may need to take in the seams a little bit at the waist but I wanted to go ahead and switch to embellishing the front here and originally I thought I had a great plan of just adding some sequins that I made using a hole punch and some scraps of my <laughs> aluminum cans to punch little sequin shapes. So I had a bunch of sequins made, but I was having trouble kind of figuring out how to make a pretty design because most of the designs you see on uh, dresses that are beaded have a lot of different shapes of beads and sizes of beads and then they use some sequins too. And so I just was really struggling coming up with anything that was sort of an interesting design. So I had kind of a crazy brainstorm of cutting out some different shapes with my Cricut cutting machine. So I cut out some different leaf shapes and some petal shapes and then I used my Dollar Tree embossing tool to add some dimension to the shapes and then I also have this Dollar Tree stylus that I'm using to punch some holes so that I can sew the pieces on. This is kind of the rough layout that I'm going to be working with and I did put a little poll out on my community tab asking uh, I had two different designs. There was this asymmetrical design and I had a more symmetrical design and the 
asymmetrical design definitely is winning the poll at the moment. So thank you if you voted on my community tab. I'm probably going to be throwing some more questions out there throughout this process. So I'd love to have your help in designing this silly trash fashion wedding dress. So my next step is to finish embossing some of my leaf and petal pieces and then I'm going to start applying them to the bodice of the gown. That's going to do it for today's video. Be sure to stay tuned for the next episode where I'll be finishing the back of the bodice and adding the underskirt. And also, if you'd like some other inspiration on ways to use your recycled materials, I'd love it if you'd become a subscriber. You can check the bell icon to select your notification preferences. And if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a like. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you back here soon in the lab for my next experiment.